welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned okay guys so today i'll be making some donuts don't forget to hit that like button give this video a thumbs up guys so first what i'm gonna do this is very simple you can do this at home so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add my milk so you need some warm milk milk have to be warm one cup of milk pour that in you have butter like three teaspoon of butter I melt it, I like to melt it when I'm making donuts. You don't have to melt it, but you can remove the butter from the fridge and leave it for a period of time so it becomes not too hard, so you know it becomes a little soft. Then I'm gonna add my egg, one egg. This. And I have my yeast, instant yeast, I'm going to add my two teaspoon of this. I just need to cut this open a little. This is half teaspoon, so I'm going to use four of this. One. So a lot of people don't like to use yeast what you can do if you don't have it you can use um, a little like one teaspoon of baking powder you can add to it I'm gonna add my sugar so I'm gonna use granulated sugar same more it's sugar so I'm gonna add uh, like two teaspoon of this This is a very quick snack, you know. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna add some cinnamon, half teaspoon of that, and also a little nutmeg. egg. You add half teaspoons as well. If you have the powder one, you can use that. But I'm gonna grate mine. Go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna use half teaspoon of salt. So that's good. I'm gonna use back this, put the salt in. So that good. I'm going to do it, I'm going to use, I'm going to mix it out. I'm going to use a fork to do so. So now you're going to add your flour. I have some bread flour here. You can use all purpose flour. So I'm going to add two and three quarter amount of flour. So you're just going to add it like that. So I don't need this anymore. I'm going to use a spatula to do so. Okay, you want to become into a dough so you mix it around and you gradually add your flour to it and you keep on add it until it becomes doughy and for the milk you can use any any regular milk or you can use eva milk if you want And if you don't want to use the white sugar, you can use powder sugar if you want. And you just mix it to come to come to another dough, but you need more flour to make it a little more thicker. So 
and if it gets a little too thick you can go ahead and add a little water Alright, so it look like when we want it to look. So we make do now. And then put it on a on a cutting board. Like that. And I'm just gonna use my hand. We need it like that. You want it to look like this like elastic. Good. So that's good. So you can put a little flour on the surface if you don't want it to stick to the board. So just gonna put a little flour on it. Little oil on it, sorry. <laughs> Or you can use a little flour, but I prefer to use a little oil on the board. So you do it like that. See? Perfect. So you're going to stick to the board. Beautiful. You do that for like five minutes. Okay, so you see it now? Very nice. This is all you want it. So if you use the flour on the board, then you're going to need a bowl. When you get the bowl to put it in, in the bowl, you're going to need a little oil in there. But like you put, you use the oil, which I would recommend you use the oil, it's okay. You just need a little bit of oil in another, another bowl. Just a little bit of oil in another bowl. Not a lot. Like that. You use your end and rub it out like that. Then you're going to put the dough into the bowl like this. Use your hand and just puff it, punch it in like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this to rise so we can um, get the dough to how we want it. So we're going to leave it in a warm place. So when, leave it for an hour, so maybe it full up the bowl or reach right here, so when it rise. So that should be fine. So I can use a little plastic wrap to cover it, or you can use a damp kitchen towel to cover it and just leave it in a warm place. And leave it for an hour there. And then we should be fine. That's enough. And cover it like so. So beautiful. So we want it. So peeps, while the door is set, I'm going to make a simple glaze for the donut. Alright? So I'm going to have some fresh milk. I'm going to use three teaspoons of that in there. The first one was a little less than three teaspoons, so I'm going to put a little more in there. All right. And a pinch of salt. I have some vanilla. Then put a teaspoon of vanilla in there. Just give it a nice flavor. All right. And I have some butter here. Then put in there. I use half stick of butter in there. And then I have powder sugar. If you don't have powder sugar, people, you can use the granulated sugar. And this is one cup, but I'm just going to add it. Before I add it, 
Let me just whisk this out a little. Like that. And just add the sugar in there. I know I'm not making a lot. If you want more than this, you know, you had a little more milk to it. And a little more butter. And you just mix that out. So, again, to show you how to different type of topping that I use for my donuts as I go along. You just want to mix that sh um, sugar out. I'm gonna add some more. And just continue to mix. And mix it till all the sugar is gone. So you mix it out like that, people, and this is how you want your glaze to look. See? Very nice. beautiful yeah so we want it then just dip your donuts in it and so shana is gonna show you that part lovely so it's been an hour now since the door set so i'm just going to take this off and show you so you see where it rise beautiful that's all you want it is lovely this is exactly how you want it so i'm going to go ahead with my hand just put it on like that put it on like that nice lovely so you want it so i have some flour just going to sprinkle a little bit like that use your hand and so spread it yeah take your dough out i like to do this like make it into a ball all right put it down get a little more flour sprinkle a little bit on the top like that use my hand like that and I spread it out. Now you don't want it to, you don't want to roll it too flat. Then use this and just roll it. So this, if you want, you can bake it in your oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. But I'm going to fry it. You will see how I do that. You do that. I don't want it too thin as I said. So I'm just going to do that. So now we're going to cut the donut. If you have a donut cutter, that's amazing. But I'm going to use a glass and a cover, a bottle cover, this is our rum cover. So I'm just going to give it one little more roll. Can take, it's not too flat. Perfect, just the way I want it. Just going to go ahead with my glass just press it into it move it around like that until it form out so that's good not too close to the other one and do the same Also do it to this one as well. 
and continue around until you get as much out that's good you can get one from here so so I did manage to get six but this door I'm gonna roll it again and get some more so I have the cork just then put that look for the middle just do it in there like that all right so that's good to all of them just the same so go ahead take your time and just remove this take a little time no rush no rush at all all right do it like that put that aside because we're going to use that again. Just take it up like that. So you have one there, so. Do the same to that. We're going to fry them small one there. So we can use to get some little donut balls. Like that. Do the same with this one. Take your time, no rush. People, no rush. You do that, put that aside, use your hand, try to fix this one in. Look at that. Do the same, beautiful. Anything that's left out, you can always use your hand and put it back in place. So that's good. So now, people, I have my oil here. I use some vegetable oil. You can use any oil you want. So how I test my oil to see if I don't want it too hot because I don't want them to burn them. So I just use this little dough to put in there to test the oil. And when it flows up on top, you know the oil is good, good to go. So the oil is not hot as yet, but that's fine. As soon as this come up on top, you know that you can throw your donuts in. So people, you want your donut to have this golden brown look, okay? So the oil is hot. Okay, so now I'm going to have the donut in. Can you see how much you can hold? do that until it gets golden brown then you remove them so you come on the top that's what you want it the heat that's inside make it flow to the top so it work out that all six donut all so what I'm going to do I'm just going to check to see how it's coming on so that needs to stay a little bit more because we need them to be golden brown so what i did over here i'm just going to show you and make some of them into a ball right because that one you can stuff like if you have jello jelly or anything in there that you want to stuff any fillings you can do so so the flower is this so what i do what i did just take a little piece off and have it in your hand and just roll it in like that roll it in like that so this is the one if you want to put any fillings in there so when it fry you just bore the oil bore oil and put your fillings in and you do that you just roll it like that Or like a ball 
So this is the one with the fillings, if you're gonna put the fillings in. And depending on how big you want it. Okay guys, so the color is coming through. You want your donut to have a color looking like this or a little bit darker than that. So yeah, lovely. This is how it should look. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the topping for my donut. So this is just simple. This is just granulated sugar. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my donut in. I have it here and then just pour some sugar on top. like that so see put that aside and I'm gonna put this one in the glaze so you just put it in there like that just pour the glaze over it like that Just gonna use this to take it up like that. And there you have your glazed donut. I'm just gonna put it here like that. Alright, so I'm gonna put another one in the glaze. gonna mix that around like that that should be fine it is fine <laughs> and we also put the donut in there like that I'm just going to cover it in there You can use different chocolate syrup if you want. Anything that you want to use, you use. Cover it up like that. Then I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle on this, like that. The rest is gonna have sprinkle on them. I don't mind. If I put it over the chocolate bowl, that's okay. Because I'm gonna have the rest of donuts with the sprinkles, as I said. And that's enough. So I'm just gonna put it aside like that. And yeah, and I'm gonna use um, some sugar powder on the other one as well okay guys so that's the finishing touch of my donuts leave a comment and let me know what you think thank you so much for watching that video i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and let me know in the comment section what you like to see how i prepare next don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified